So you've got Windows 11 installed, and you know you don't want to sign in with a Microsoft account. Well, what we've been doing for a while is going here and doing Shift F10. And we use the OOBE backslash bypass NRO method. Well, there's some reports that Microsoft is going to remove this script. And yes, this is a script. So let me show you that it's not some kind of magic. That it's just a script that's included inside of System32. So we'll do CD backslash OOBE. If I do a dir and bypass nro.cmd, you can see right there is the cmd file, which is an NT version of a batch file. And if I do notepad bypass nro.cmd, you can see exactly what it's doing. It's basically just using the reg command, which is how we can manipulate the Windows registry using the command line to add a value for bypass NRO set to 1 to the OOBE registry key. So if Microsoft decides to take the script away, we can just make a copy of this and put it on our bootable flash drive and run it from there whenever we get to the point where we're going to have to go into the OOBE and that would work just fine. I could copy this and run it right in the command line and then this bottom part basically will just restart the machine at which point it will get past the OOBE. But I actually found another way and I'm going to show you that. I don't think my way is better than this way because that is super simple to do but i'm going to show you anyway because i think the more ways we know to get around these things that we don't want to do the better off we are microsoft can take them all away but it's going to take them some time so what i'm going to do is go into regedit and then i'm going to go to hkey local machine software microsoft Windows, current version, and OOBE. Okay, let's make this a little bigger. And you can see the entire key right there. It's a long one. But if I stretch this out, we can see we have something in here called Launch User OOBE. So I'm just going to double click on that and change it from 1 to 0. Okay, so that's going to stop OOBE from happening. Now you'll see right here we have a default user 0 that has already been created. And if I were to close out a regedit and reboot the machine right now, it's going to log me into this default user 0 without me even having to do anything. So I'm going to turn off that auto login. And then we're going to use the command line to make a user that we want to use with the password we have. So to get to that, I need to get out of uh, this tree here. So instead of going to Windows, we're going to go down to Windows NT. It's the same key, but we go to Windows NT at the end instead of Windows. And then we go to current version inside of there. And then there is a key in there called Win Logon. Okay, there's two things I'm going to change here. One is the auto admin logon. Instead of one, I'm going to set that to zero. And I'm also going to delete this auto login SID, which corresponds to default user zero. So we'll just set that to empty. And I'm pretty sure that's all I have to do in order to make it so I can log in to my new user that we're about to make. So let's go ahead and close this. And we're going to use the net commands to make this new user. Net user trav. That's my username. And then I do a space. And then you can set whatever password. We're going to say taco. Then we're going to do forward slash add. Just like that. 
and then the command completed successfully. Now I'm going to do net, uh, let's see, local group administrators, Trav. Administrators is the group name. Trav is the username that we want to add to administrators. And then I'll do forward slash add. Okay, now I'm just going to do a shutdown hyphen R hyphen T space zero. And this will reboot the machine. And when it comes back up, we won't have the OOBE foolishness. We're just going to have a screen where we can log in to our existing users. There's going to be the Trav user and there's going to be the default zero user. So I'm going to go to Trav, password taco. It's going to take a little bit because it'll build all of those profile type things that it would do when it says, please wait a moment, but we don't have to wait for all that now. I'm going to turn off all this telemetry stuff. If you wanted to leave it on, it does not affect anything. And there we go. We are in the Trav user. It's very clean. We didn't have to do any of that OOBE business. One thing I'm going to do now is get rid of default user zero. So to do that, I'm just going to tap my Windows key. Going to type CMD. Hold Control Shift and press Enter. Okay, and this will give us an administrative command prompt. Now I'm just going to type net user default user zero forward slash delete. Now default user zero is gone and we have to delete its directory off of the C drive. So I'm going to do CD backslash users and we're going to say rmdir forward slash s default user zero and it's going to say are you sure because it does a recursive delete of whatever folder we tell it and I'll say yes and now default user zero is gone and there you have it yet another way to bypass the out-of-box experience and we no longer have to sign in with a Microsoft account or put up with all that other gobbledygook that Microsoft forces on us at that stage. If you thought this was interesting or useful or helpful, I'd appreciate it if you give this video a like. And if you think you would like more content like this, subscribe. Also in the comments, let me know where you're from if you want to. I love hearing from all the places people are from. And you guys have a fantastic day and I'll catch you in the next video.